I'm just going to run through the basics that you need to uh, understand before you start Final Cut Pro. Um, the first thing you need is a, a camera and get that camera connected to the mains. Uh, that's the mains plug, so when you're important it doesn't run out of any power. Um, the next thing we're going to need to do is, is um, connect the camera to the firewire cable. And if you just see inside, the firewire cable can be situated in lots of different places um, on the camera. So I'll show you three cameras here. This is the Panasonic and you can see the DV um, firewire cable um, four pin goes into there. And on the other cameras that we have here, like the Sony camera, it's in the side there. You just need to just start pulling a few things out and you'll find it eventually. It normally has a little DV label on it, so you know that that's where the, the firewire cable goes. So that goes in one side of the, in, into the camera. And then if you go around to the back of the computer, it depends what computer you're on. Obviously, these are the Mac, iMacs, and the uh, six-pin firewire there goes into the back of the computer just at the back so don't have a fiddle around and you can see that the flat top goes at the top so uh, put that in uh, so once you've got that connected you've got the power the, you've got the power on then you need to open Final Cut Pro so if we go to the hard drive here which is in the top right hand corner and then go to the applications folder and then I'll just zoom in here uh, scroll down your applications uh, you could do a search uh, via the name and order it via name, but it will be under Final Cut Pro. Um, Final Cut Pro here is part of a package of Final Cut Studio Pro, and that comes up with DVD authoring software and uh, audio uh, software as well. So we're, we're just going to concentrate with Final Cut Pro for now. So double click the Final Cut Pro icon, and you'll see it starts to open. Uh, give it a moment while it does that. The, so so you, you're going to come to your potentially first stumbling block and that will be um, making sure that the camera that you've got is in sync with the project that you're doing. Uh, so the last person to use this computer was, work, was working with a HDV camera. Um, we'll talk about HDV and HD um, cameras and things like that later on. We're just sticking with standard definition cameras at the moment. Um, and a, Again, you know, it can get quite tricky if we if we um, working with lots of different um, formats. So the first thing we need to do is tell Final Cut Pro um, uh, what camera we're actually using and what standard, what video standard, and, and what format. So we can click uh, check again, but it won't do anything because it cannot find the HDV camera. So we just need to continue. And then we'll uh, go into Final Cut Pro and you'll see the projects from maybe someone else has been working on. Now this is really important because you don't want to start working on someone else's project, obviously. Um, so you want to ensure that we close the previous projects because all the computers here are shared. So um, there's lots of people using these computers and getting projects going. So you need to be really methodical about this and make sure that you do this every time you come to the computer. You make sure you make sure you're working in your project and uh, that you've set the scratch disk which we'll talk about in a minute. That's what points to your folder. That's so whenever you work on your project, whenever you import images or anything like that, it all goes into this one folder, which is your folder. Right, so let's get rid of this. So we'll close this project. So file, close project. Again, I'll just zoom into that quickly. So you can see that, file, close project. And then we're going to go to Final Cut Pro and then go to what we're going to do. So we're going to do the easy setup. Let's do an easy setup. So we'll, we'll now say to the Final Cut Pro that we don't want HDV because we haven't got that. So we'll go to what we have got, which is Appel. And so it's a European standard format camera most cameras are here, uh, unless you bought your own NTSC um, camera. And then we're going to say it's DV PAL. Anamorphic would mean that you're, you've, you've shot it in 16.9, which is the widescreen uh, version. Uh, this is the standard 4.3 um, 
version, there you go. So your aspect ratio is um, set to 4.3, there you can see. And then click set up. There you go, so that's set up. And now we need to create the project, our project. So we're going to go to file, new project. So we've created the project, but we haven't saved it. So this is what, again, some people forget. So we're going to save the project. So we're going to go file, save project as. Now, where are we going to save it? What are we going to save it? We need to save it into a folder. So let's save it into movies. I, I recommend that everyone here save your projects into, into the movies folder. And make sure you generate a brand new folder with your name on. create and give it a name again a distinctive name because there's loads of little projects going on here so it's good to be able to find your project if you need to if for some reason it gets lost so click save there you go so our project saved um, now the most important thing set your scratch disk so w when we come to do the next tutorial when we import actual import content Final Cut Pro needs to know where that imported footage goes. And there's a, another good reason for also in making everything go to one folder, that if you need to move this, or if you're working from an external hard drive, or you need to move the project to another computer, or work at home, or whatever, you, you can just take this one folder, and it's all there. If you do not do this, your files will be saved all over the place. They'll be saved into someone else's folder. OK, so I'll, again, I'll just zoom in this one so you can see so we're going to Final Cut Pro and you've got all these all these different settings so we did the easy setup we're going to do system settings this time okay so you can see here that you've got the top one with all these little blue ticks here uh, you've got video capture audio and uh, video render okay so these are the really important so video capture is what when, when you're importing the video, that, that, that's the video going in. Um, and the rendering happens, again, we'll, we'll talk about that later on, uh, about w when to render and when you need to render. Um, I'll just zoom this out for now. So we're going to click set. At the moment, it's, it's, it's saved to someone else's folder. We're going to click set just on this top one. We're going to navigate to our folder. I'll go date modified, that's today. We're going to choose my folder, there you go. This one directly below, just ignore. Um, these three here, you, it, not so important as this top one. This bottom one, auto save vault, is really important because uh, Final Cut Pro will keep saving your project as you go, uh, sort of backup if you like. Um, and it's sometimes a good idea if you're working on a hard drive to maybe save the auto save vault to another drive maybe the computer drive. Um, that way you've always got um, a backup if anything fails. So um, for this now, I'll just save the autosave to my folder. And just for good measure, I'll, I'll save uh, the other two as well. OK, so that's really good practice to keep doing that. Click OK. There we go, we're ready to go. So you're in Final Cut, your project's saved, um, and we're now ready to start importing our footage. So the interface here, I'll talk about that later on as well. You can manipulate the interface just by hovering over these sort of areas here and making things larger and smaller. If you go to Window, and you've got an arrange option here. So you might find that you actually just want to concentrate on the actual video that you've imported. So you can go to two up and you get these lovely big screens here. I, I personally, I look, prefer to work in standard. OK, so this area here is your main sort of browser area. This is where all your, if you're importing images or if you're, when you do your um, video imports, this is where the, the raw files will go. Um, and there's lots of information in here as well stored in there. This is the viewer, so if you double click on the content in here, you can view, review the content here. And um, this is the canvas window, which reflects really what's going on in the, your timeline, which is down here in the edit, in the main edit area. And you've got a tools bar here. 
If anything of this, uh, any, of, uh, any of these are missing, you can go to Window and tick these here. So if I quickly get rid of this tool palette here, go to Window, you can see now that the tool palette is unchecked. If I click it again, it comes back. Um, so yeah, we're all set to import, and um, we'll do that for the, uh, the next uh, video. Okay, thank you.